Okay. Finally, finally, Moses Casaido will be joining Chelsea any moment from now. Initially, we were hoping that yesterday night would be that D day for him to join the club, but Chelsea are still on the payment side of the deal. You understand? But come to think of it, you want to sign Moses Casaido and you still want to sign Chaloba and this thing, Romeo Lavia. It's crazy, man. It's really, really crazy. Okay, with rumor, with, with the way rumor has it now about the fee that they want to pay, one uh, one fifteen, one fifteen and fifty, total of one sixty five million pounds for two players. That's crazy money, man. That's huge. Hmm. I did not. Uh, is it that they are forgetting that FFP? They by the corner, or is there a plan that they are setting in for them to dodge that stray bullet? Because Chelsea is about to break the bank to sign Casaido, and also break the bank to sign Lavia. I just pray that whatever they are doing, they understand what they are doing because. Because I will not be watching the Premiership this season. And before you know, you will get an information from the FA that Chelsea have breached the financial fair play rules. That we, based on that issue, they have been fined to so amount or a point deduction. It will be very, very annoying. Imagine we are saying with the first position that they can't deduct like 15 points come up from us. We will come drop. It will be very, very annoying. So I just hope that whatever they are doing, Concerning this Casa is all defined. I know we need the player, no doubt. And also we need Lavia, no problem. But I'm not more I'm not more concerned about Lavia, I'm more concerned about Casaido. Why I'm more concerned about Casaido based on that singular art yesterday. Only that art yesterday that Casaido pulled off have have really dragged the whole of Chelsea fans in the world to love him the more. As it stands now, whether I play in it or not, for the first say no deny or see it or say I stand with these people. Only that singular act alone is okay for us. You understand? It's okay for us to do anything to get him out of Brighton to Chelsea. But even at that, Chelsea should also be careful on how they want to run these two deals to avoid financial fair play. Well, I just believe that whatever they are doing, they have it all covered up in their book because they feel cover them up now. But in the future, they feel dig them out. Just like waiting the year about this uh, during Romay Bramovich era now. Say the trans, uh, the, this thing, get some transfer, then we let them in, do we know, we know, we know go according to financial fair play rules. And now, now these people, these current owners, them, they now go face the penalty. You understand? Though they see the investigate on that side. You get me? Something will happen back to 12, 219, them. Now, now this see, then they come, they bring them out. So that is what I am concerned about. Nobody say not to sign the player. Who could consider the financial aspect of this deal too? So that we know go, yeah, say. Or even though it not happened this season, we no go yah say the next, let's say three season ahead now. You can't say say Chelsea don't be in British so, so rules say for that see what they go see the penalty or this they go come on them from transfer market this say or they no go there accessible to sign player or sell. Do you get me? So I just hope that they know what they are doing and also whatever they are doing won't affect them on a the long run. But so far, so good. Um, Kasaido has already missed some Chelsea players. See you soon. He has in, not already clarified and said, oh, guy, they come. And also, when Fabrizio posted the post about him, saying that he's going solely Chelsea, the likes of Chukwe, Mika, Madweke, a lot of Chelsea players was uh, liked the post. And also, he has officially followed the Chelsea official page and also followed some Chelsea players yesterday on instagram you understand to tell you how can this boy want to make this move to stanford bridge because they want to sign him before tomorrow game you understand so today will be a very crucial 
day, both the morning and both the night. Both this morning and both the night and both the morning of the Sunday will be a crucial uh, minutes and hour. Every minute counts. Every hour is counting for Moses Casado because we heard that a bid of 115 million pounds has been submitted. So we are still waiting for a response from Brighton. Though, so far so good. There is a progression in that deal. <coughs> you understand? <coughs> There is a progression in that deal. So we are just waiting for the payment method for them to get it done. But involving Lavia and we are hearing that Lavia will soon be done. It's crazy, man. That is why I'll still come back to this FFP. God, I just hope they know what they are doing. You understand? So in the Moses Casado, oh, we should just relax. We should just calm down. You understand? But this time around, I'm not relaxed so because anything can happen. Anything can happen, but it rest assured that the bid will be higher than Liverpool 110 million pounds. That is why we are saying 115 million pounds has been submitted. That that is as high as Chelsea can go. You understand? So let us watch what you happen. And if Chelsea should sign that guy for 115 million pounds, will I say is a crazy transfer? Will I say is a crazy deal? Because the initial point was 100 million and you had this boy in your back and come to sign him for 100 million but you were just dragging it it is now that the mind game has been played between brighton and liverpool now we had to stick 150 million pounds to sign this guy and he will be one of the highest most expensive midfielder in the world he passed billy he passed the rice rise right, now 105 Billy, Billy M now 100. Enzo now 105. Now it's going to be 115. Hmm. I just hope that our money won't go in vain. Then, pushing forward, like I said, La Viad is almost closing, being done. You understand? Then pushing forward, Um, this guy, what's his name? Chaloba. Inter Milan are coming back again to bid for Chaloba. And this time around, they are bidding about... Chelsea are requesting, it's not that they are bidding, Chelsea are requesting for 25 million euros to get Chaloba out of the club. You understand? So we are waiting for Inter Milan to do the needful if they are really serious in signing this Chaloba. You understand? Because right now, the cost of Chelsea signing some of these players into the club right now, like two, three players will be leaving as fast, as, as quick as possible. You understand? Then, as for Kepa Arizabalaga, according to Sky Sports, he has made it clear that he wants to make that move to Bayern Munich. Hannah Siam, now Kepa Arizabalaga won't go Bayern by all means. Well, for me, if that has, if that is his choice, no problem. I'm not against that. But, any way make Kepa go Bayern, Chelsea, we have to find another goalkeeper. As a backup for Sanchez, just in case the Bayern Munich deal pull through for Kepa Arizabalaga, because Bayern are pushing seriously, and Kepa has made it clear that he wants to join Bayern Munich. I don't know why, if he's afraid of the competition from Sanchez, or guy, you cannot be number one forever now. You need competitor too, so that you'll be serious. That is why we brought Sanchez. But this time around, when they see, say, Bayern Munich, don't, it can't be like in a do or die affair where Bayern Munich is do for your head. If you go there now, if, if you know, keep better one full season, well, because come to think of it, you deal Chelsea, two Chelsea, they tell Chelsea, you know, to make use of you like that. Why all of a sudden now, you don't deal Bayern Munich now, and once you make it come keep. You say, I think come now. But whichever way, let us just watch. But then this other guy, and uh, Taylor Adams deal, he paid me shots. It just really cut him off. He paid me. And I know he paid the agents them. But whichever way, that was the only way forward for us to get Kasaido deal done and dusted. So we are waiting for that final statement this morning or this afternoon or this night but whichever way do it to like the video share and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel i only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone my name is peters thank you very much for watching